Uh, my name is Sean Sexton. I'm one of the supervising animators on the Croods. How did you get involved in animation? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to use the love to draw. I think I started when I was about five, and I knew I wanted to be an animator. When it comes to animation today, can you talk a little about the role technology plays and what you guys are doing? Yeah, things have changed so much since I started. Um, everything is now done on the computer, pretty much. Uh, there are people that are hand-drawn, and they, uh, they start on pencil and paper, but then most things get scanned into the computer and then finished on the computer. And my role as an animator used to be drawing things by hand, but now I do everything completely on the computer. But when it comes to technology, we just went through a thing where you guys actually taught us how to draw some of the characters. There is hand drawing still going on at some point, right? There is. Usually the storyboard artist, um, they start by hand, but sometimes they actually draw on something called a Cintiq, which is pencil and paper, but a digital version of it. So you have like a, a digital pencil and, a, and kind of digital paper. So even that isn't completely hand drawn. Can you talk a little about the characters you actually created for this film? Yeah, I didn't create the characters, but I, um, I supervised the animation of Ugga and Sandy. So uh, most of the shots with those characters, I either animated them myself or I supervised the animators that did those shots. What are your thoughts about not just seeing these guys in 3D in a movie, but also seeing them in like video games? Oh, it's so cool to watch that. Yeah, it would be amazing just to play as my character, Sandy. It would be a lot of fun. Do you find similarities between what you guys can do with CGI today and what they're doing in the video game space? Yeah, it's pretty much the same. Um, a lot of times we actually supervised the stuff that went into the video game. So they would send their cycles to us of how Sandy runs for the game or how she gets attacked. And then we would take a look at those and they're done in a lot of the similar software that we use. So it's, it's very closely integrated. We've also seen video games in the past for How to Train Your Dragon. There's a new online game that's out there as well. What role do you see them playing in between the films since it takes you guys years to create these uh, CGI animations? Right, yeah, it's a great idea. I think it hopefully it keeps the, the product alive in people's minds so they can become the characters and then it'll kind of bridge the gap until the next movie. What are your thoughts about 3D and what that adds to the experience on the big screen? I personally love 3D. I think it's, uh, it feels like you're on a ride, and especially like the films that we make, like the Croods, and seeing the creatures come to life in 3D is pretty amazing. Cool. And How to Train Your Dragon is going to be incredible. Awesome.